going to talk about rewarding the horse. It's one of the most important parts, in my opinion, because when you, when you have a horse that becomes eager for reward, you will not need punishment, because he will be eager to try. So you will, he will always search for that situation, and he will actually train you to reward him by doing, trying to do what you ask. Very important for me also is encouragement and reward. Uh, I have carrots in my pocket always. Uh, I don't mind to give my horses candy at all. I mind horses demanding, pushing me out of the way uh, to have reward. Uh, so I, I like her to keep distance, but when I invite her to come with me, this is perfectly fine. I like her to want to be with me, I like her to want to be touched and I like her to want. When she gets a carrot, she takes it, but she will not come all over me, pushing me down to get the carrot. Um, I reward a lot. Uh, what we also do, uh, and I have a, a very good use of that in the show ring, when I want to reward her, if she does something good, uh, she learns something new, I teach her to put her head down. Because a horse that relaxes, keep head down and chew uh, and relaxes. Uh, a tense horse keeps his head high, uh, he's holding his jaws and he's, he's tense. So I like to encourage her to relax and I'm teaching all my horses to release pressure in their neck, to put their head down. So what I do, I just hold my hand here and when I feel a little release, downwards, I release. So my horses learn very quickly when I reward, tell her good girl, I can put her head down. And when her head is down here, she totally relaxes. I don't push, but I hold. And when she releases, it's like when you push your hand up and you release, you feel, I will let go. So they learn very quickly, it's comfy to release. It's like when you pull a horse and he gives, you release. So for that, I can teach my horse to relax. So I can teach her to go with head down. And I can, I'm not holding hard, she's just used to this and it becomes really comfortable for her. And it becomes a comfort for her. So I, I do this often in the collecting ring because we have trained this for her whole period of learning that when everything is good, you're a good girl, we relax. So what I do with my horses often, when everyone starts to warm up and it's sometimes hysterical in the ring, I put the head down on my horse. So when I put my head down, we can wait and she doesn't need to use all her energy being nervous and listening to everything. And uh, when a horse knows this, sometimes they ask me for it. Uh, I was loading a horse once for a plane and they loaded other stallions that were very busy and loud and I stand here with my horse and suddenly I feel she takes a step and she asks for this. So then we stand here, she's not nervous anymore and she's just chewing. And the showground is stressy, so this is a very very useful way of relaxing your horse. Plus, when you have children who want to put halter on, you just put the head down and you can get the head down on your horse for them to put the halter on. So for that, it has so many uses. Again, like the walking, the stopping, moving away, putting head down. It's another useful way of working with your horse, no matter if you show or not. So the reward is as important as your lesson of teaching, because I like her to search for that try she need to try to train me to reward her so she need to search for the behaviors that will make me come to her and to reward her and when i can have that i have a lot for free because it's no must for her it's an eagerness so for me if you train anyone if you train a horse a dog a person a child if you can make him want you have for free more than half 
So this is, this is an important part of it, the reward. Also the touching of the horse. Uh, I like her to stand still while I touch. Uh, also in front of the judge, I like to arrange the forelock. Uh, when I stand her up, I don't want her to be scared of any parts of her face. I like to be able to touch her everywhere. Maybe she has hay in her tail before I go in the ring. I like to be able to make her safe and easy. And that doesn't mean she's going to become a dull, lazy horse. It's just that when I ask, could you please relax and be still, she should, and she should want to. Rewarding is very important, both to enforce the bond between you and your horse. But most importantly, it will naturally want to learn and listen to you, as it knows a treat will be awaiting. So now, if she does something really good and I'm in front of her, I need also to explain to her because we have practiced that she needs to move away when I come to her. So she's used to that. When I come, she moves. Now I must explain to her she was a super good girl. So I will come to her, but she doesn't need to move. So I'm gonna again use my shoulder to tell pressure is off. I come. So that she learns I don't push, but I come. So with this situation, she can feel relaxed. I'm not going to ask her backwards. I simply want to come to reward her and she can totally relax. Uh, when I tell her good girl, I always put head down on my horses like we did in the first. And the horses also like a lot to be stroked in their forehead. And I have also found over the years that they really like stroking on the eye. You can relax a horse by stroking on the eye. So this, for me, when I like to tell her good girl, I like to get her a situation that's very pleasant for her. Not only for me or for her to understand I'm satisfied, but for her to feel pleasure. So I stroke her, put her head down, scratch her in the forehead. Now she doesn't want to put her head down. <laughs> Come Shahara, we do. Yes, yes, good, very good. Make her relax down here, make her chew by herself. Take my finger and eat it. Good girl. I will scratch her on her withers and she will learn to try to search for this. So when we tr practice something difficult, I'm gonna, when I see a little sign of her trying to understand, I'm gonna go do these things so that she can try to find a way to make me do it again by trying. Many people also pet their horses and we never do it. Horses will learn that it's, it's a reward, we are satisfied and they will feel fine with it. But it's not a, it's not a pleasure for the horse, it's something he needs to learn. So if I scratch her now, it's not really something that she feel, wow, she must be happy. <laughs> Compared when I <laughs> come, she, she never had this. It's her first time. Yes, I know, I was an ass. Come. Yes. Oh, she's already tense because she didn't understand. This is more pleasant for her. When I tell her she's a good girl and she did something super good, I also give her carrot if she did something extra good. And it's not that they need to have candy always, but I use it as a, when there is something difficult and they just did the right thing, I will give. So this, for me, to make it pleasant for her, we do something again, stand her up. Maybe she had problems, she didn't understand the front legs. We practice. Finally, she gives me, she gives me the second. Good, I will, Immediately reward, move my shoulder, come to tell her, good girl. Oh, good girl. Yes, that's a good girl. Yes, that's a good girl. Yeah. So I will show you the, the petting, the difference in her reaction to me. I'll turn her around. Front legs, good girl. And then I will come and I will... 
she will learn that I am happy when I do this. So she will learn to accept it, but it's not a reward for her. So that's the difference for me. When you can choose to stroke, which is comfortable, or pet, which is not so comfortable, it's easy when you look at the horse, how she reacts. Yes. Thanks for watching Lesson 4 Rewards. Teach your horse to put his head down, to relax, and wait. In the beginning, reward your horse also if it didn't do the right thing, in order to make it wish to try. Reward your horse with carrots, so it will be more interested in listening to you and will learn more quickly.